Hey guys, Surreal Simmer here. Welcome back to our aspiration challenge and our little mini series, The Friends of the Animals here. We are getting really close to completing this challenge. We just need to feel the love. Oh, looks like it's back this time, five out of eight. Um, I don't know if you remember from the last episode, but if you did watch that one at the very end, we somehow ended up with a zero out of eight on feeling the love with eight different pets, but we definitely want to continue working on that. I did um, play a little bit just now off screen so that I could get everybody's needs up a little bit. So Ariello and Terrence are back from their scout, their scout meeting, having some dinner and Ariello is also going to have some coffee. It looks like he is pretty exhausted. I definitely want him to check the mail because I think his university acceptance lever acceptance letter might have arrived and or his scholarship letters might have arrived. So let's go and get him to do that just really quickly here and see if we have any. Looks like Cod Pickles did get bitten by a squirrel, so he will need a wellness treat. He's collected everything from the mailbox. Let's open this. We're sorry to inform Ariella Robles that he has not been awarded the Future Star Scholarship. Oh, bummer. Yeah, that's disappointing. I feel like it's taking a long time to go through the system here. Okay, so then Terrence could maybe, well, not phase through the island. And that's right, last time I did say we were gonna upgrade the litter box. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that so we don't have the issue of having our pets constantly eating at cat poop. And then we no longer have a toddler, so we can go ahead and sell that. And then as always, we are having a bunch of plants ending up in our inventory. About to make it big, you guys. 139,200 and oh my goodness. And then this is Ariello's. Oh my gosh, already? Yikes, Cod Pickles has been bitten by a squirrel again. Let's see if he is having any issues with that. It doesn't look like he is. Hallelujah. That's good. Okay, and then I think I'm going to have Roxanne come and tell Bernice that she is going to go and do some more working on her aspiration in Brindleton Bay. Give her a kiss goodbye and tell her good luck with the kids and all the other animals. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to go back to the Dead Grass Discoveries Museum here and see if I can't find some of the pets that we have already kind of worked on relationships with. It is also new skill day. Ooh, can look for some feathers while we're here as well. Maybe we could go ahead and scare this flock. Maybe they'll drop some feathers for us. A finch feather, a seagull feather, and a pigeon feather we already have. Oh, who's this, who's this, who's this? Oh, that's one that just like is not dead actually. <laughs> This is our pet graveyard over here. So I guess this is where all of the um, ghost pets were spawning from. All right, well, why don't we go ahead and try and do a friendliest introduction with Golby here. Oh, it looks like we're having issues getting to them maybe. Uh-oh. So maybe that won't work. Maybe we should go ahead and talk to Doc over here. I would love to see if we could find Stella or some of the other pets that we had worked on our relationships with last time, but I don't know that that is going to be possible. So we may just have to kind of start over. Oh, Cosmo, we do know you. Okay, cool. Let's maybe talk to Cosmo. And Roxanne is already pretty tired, so I'm not sure exactly how long we are going to have to work on this. Oh, Cosmo, come on. Don't fall asleep on me. Cosmo is looking for that special someone in his life. No, where is it going? Why does this happen in between every interaction that we have? Aww. Now that we have all this money, we can give all the vet treats to all the animals. Roxanne just became good friends with Cosmo. Cool, can we do feel the love yet? Yes, I think I just saw the option. So we're gonna finish brushing him here and then we will feel the love with him. And then wait, five, six, seven, eight. We have three more. Why was I thinking? That's hilarious. I said five out of eight. And I said, we need two more. We need three more. So him and now we need two more. All right, well, thank you for your contribution. I hope you find the uh, lover of your life. Let's maybe go talk to this kitty. There's a lot of kitties here, not a lot of doggies I'm noticing. These cats will like bug out and just meow, 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 and it won't let me come anywhere close to them. Okay, so we are introducing ourselves to Mayor Whiskers here. <laughs> We got something going on in this bush over here. Yep, it's Cosmo that's in there. Roxanne just became friends with Mayor Whis Whiskers. Let's see if we can get to good friends because that's when we will get the option to feel the love. Oh, 
No, Mayor Whiskers, don't leave. Oh, you're hungry? We have um, a solution for that, actually. Okay, you guys, so this is what I mean. See how Mayor Whiskers is just meowing and meowing? And we have a bunch of stuff queued up, but he has to finish all of his meowing before we can actually do any of these interactions. It's kind of frustrating. He is talkative. I could request a song from him. Don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. You can do it. We're almost there. A human. Is it a human or is it a vampire? I think it's a vampire. Oh my goodness. We're just out here with all the animals and the vampires in the middle of the night. All right, now hopefully we'll be able to go right into requesting his song from him. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's so cute. I haven't seen this before, actually. Oh. Well, New Scale Day was awful, unfortunately, for everybody. Um, Mayor Whiskers is still working on his song here. Give him a treat, brush him again. How close are we to being best friends or good friends with him? We really have to go to the bathroom as well. He is friendly and he is leaving. Hmm. Well, we really have to go to the bathroom. So why don't we try to go to the bathroom really quickly? And then I think we're going to have to call it for the night. We'll go ahead and go home after that and maybe come back a different night. Oh my gosh, it's like another Fiona. This one's name is Diamond. How cute. Oh yeah, we're going to have an energy failure here right outside the public restrooms. Which way? Which way are we going here? Oh, we're going to go behind the public restrooms have our energy failure. Yep. Pretty rough. So let's switch back to Bernice here and hopefully everybody has been taking good care of themselves at home. And as always, she is on the computer in her son's room. I think I'm going to have to set this computer to be only for black computer for everyone. And then we can say computer security settings unlock for Ariello. All right, I would like for him to check on his application status. We got this buddy out here. Play pretend, get creativity level three. <gasps> Acceptance letter! Yay! Okay, we've been accepted to no distinguished degrees. Okay, well, we could at least go to, let me see, he was interested in music, right? So it looks like we'll probably have to go to Foxbury, which would not be ideal for music degree, but we can do that. Oh no, he's feeling undistinguished from reading his university letter. Not being accepted into any distinguished degrees is a bit of a bummer. Oh, he's going to go have a cry about it as well. Oh, poor Ariello. That's rough. Roxanne is headed straight to bed and it looks like maybe mom heard about his rough time that he's having. And is going to come talk to him about it. She really doesn't like his music taste. Okay, well, hopefully listening to some of his favorite music um, will help him feel a little bit better. We are working on our creativity skill down here with Terrence. The world needs to hear me. You can influence me to be quiet and discipline me over loud actions. Just know the fire inside me will never die. <laughs> All right, buddy. I think it's time for you to get to sleep. Snook has been bitten by a squirrel. <gasps> and we've got some um, feathers to look at. Okay, just getting everyone into bed here really quickly. Got Bernice helping Ariello with some homework here. And then they are going to go quickly just take a quick nap. Bernice starts in one hour, one hour, one hour. Everybody starts in an hour, so then... Roxanne will be able to go and work on her aspiration after that. Once everybody goes to their things for the day and then go to work. And Ariello aged up. Oh my gosh, you guys, I completely forgot about his birthday. I feel so horrible. I totally forgot about Ariello's birthday. Oh my gosh. He's paranoid. The Sim feels that danger is around every corner and that people are always talking about them. Paranoid Sims feel a sense of security while hanging out in basements. Mm, okay, good. Freaking wonderful. <laughs> Let's have him maybe want to be a musical genius. Sim wants to be an expert musician and songwriter. I think that that would maybe make sense for him. Congrats, grad. Ariello has successfully completed high school. He can venture forth in the world with his head held high and doors open. His future awaits... Oh no, just, yeah, 
That's rough, buddy. Okay, we need to get you enrolled in a university here. Work hard. Terrence is headed off to school. Ariello is having a rough time. Looks like all the pets are doing pretty okay right now. All right, let's enroll him in a university here. So first we're going to select Foxberry. Art history, patron of the arts trendsetter, communications, he could do hmm, drama maybe, comedian, internet personality, fine art potentially, master of the real, musician, he could do musician, language and lit, no, okay, so it looks like the only one he can really do that's going to help with his music aspiration is, um, fine art, a fine art degree. So he could be master of the real in the painting um, career or a musician in the entertainer career. I think that might make more sense. Um, and then we'll do Brainy Tower maybe. Where should he live? Probably not super expensive. Maybe he can make friends with um, Cameron Fletcher. Pay with household funds. That should not be a problem. We don't need to make him take on any debt here. So let's go ahead and just give him like 30,000. That should be enough to get him through like school and stuff. I think that'll be good. Okay, cool. So we're moving him out. It looks like I did not think to grab any of his stuff either. We're just kind of doing this on the fly. We're just going with it. Just going with what the game is giving us right now. Oh, Arios. <laughs> Birthday got forgotten. I feel so bad. Okay. What bed should we give him? Let's give him this one and he can go cry it out there. And yeah, that is really unfortunate, buddy. Okay, so I'm actually going to go and go back to Managed Worlds and back into our other household. All right, our bills have been delivered. We are back in our household in San Sequoia. So we need to go ahead and take care of that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick up some of this and do a little bit of housekeeping around here. And then I think we'll head back to Dead Grass Discoveries Museum. Oh no, we need to uh, fill our food bowls. We are coming, Snook. Don't you worry. Schedule time. Every three hours. Looks like we might need to do it more frequently than that even. Okay, we're just going to fill this up and then I think we will go ahead and head out. It looks like she is feeling tense from the outdoorsy lifestyle. It's been too long since Roxanne has done anything outside and they really needs, <laughs> they really need to fix that. Who is this? Kiro. Don't believe we have met them before. Let's see if we can find someone we've met before. Mayor Whiskers, maybe. Hmm. We've got Frank down here. Okay, well, excuse me while I fast forward through her running all the way over here. Here she goes. Oh, Frank, you don't go to sleep. Ugh. Okay, we're going to wake them up. Give them another treat. Play, praise. Basically, just do all the things. It'd be great to, like, offer... Friendship. Frankie is so cute. I love this dog. Roxanne just became friends with Frankie. Yay! Yeah, our relationship with him is not as high as Mayor Whiskers. Unfortunately, we're going to be here for a little bit. I guess I could adopt Frankie now that we have another spot in our household, but I don't know that we necessarily want to fill it up already. Somebody actually in the comments had a really good idea where they were saying we should start our next aspiration challenge in the same save files so that we can kind of see these guys living their life in the background um, and see what happens to them. So I'd love to leave another um, household spot open so they have the option to do something with that, whether that's adopting another pet, maybe having a baby, whatever it is they decide to do. And we can kind of see whatever whatever they do decide to do. Roxanne has learned the following traits about Frankie. He's an aggressive dog. What a day at work. Bernice is back home and has earned 3,248 simoleons. Still don't have the option to feel the love with Frankie, but we have no, we now know all their traits. Um, Frankie is an aggressive hunter and jumpy dog. It looks like Frankie is feeling a little bit tired here, but we would really like to keep talking to them. Wait, Frankie, please come back. <gasps> we can feel the love with them. That's it. No, 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 no. Reset. You are not leaving. Praise. Feel the love. Absolutely not. Okay, I think we have Phil. Yep, we only have one more pet to fill the love with. So I think I'm going to have Roxanne go to the bathroom just really quickly and then see if while she's doing that, maybe I can't find another pet that we have met before. What's this one? We've met Wally before. We could do this. 
Let's give Wally a vet treat. Oh, and Roxanne is just taking forever to get to the bathroom and Wally is headed the other direction. So we will see how that works out with them catching up to each other. That's Wally over there. Looks like we finished going to the bathroom. I'm trying to figure out if we can give Wally a vet treat. Oh, this is so frustrating. Okay, here we go. We've got Rhea. Let's go ahead and hug them. Okay, guys, something is wrong. Roxanne has not come out of the bathroom for like an hour. So I'm going to see if I can't teleport her out of the bathroom. Maybe I could reset it. Okay, there she is. Let's see if we can't give them a vet treat and praise and do all the things. Okay, so instead of Wally, because he kind of got away from us, we are talking to Rhea here. She's looking really sad for some reason, so I actually am going to have her try to figure out what's going on. She's hairy. We figured out one of her traits is hairy. And I'm hoping this doesn't take as long because we have met Freya before, or not Freya, but Rhea before. So I'm hoping that we're able to kind of... Oh no, they fell asleep. Rhea's so exhausted. Oh, where the heck is Roxanne going? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is like a never ending battle. Now we're going back up. Okay. Okay, we just became good friends with Rhea. Oh, and we are having an energy failure now. Hopefully we should be able to feel the love with them now. Oh no, Rhea, don't leave. Oh my goodness. Come on, Roxanne, wake up. Never noticed that there are flowers growing all over right here until just now. Okay, can we now feel the love? These two are both like completely exhausted. I'm not seeing the option to, oh my goodness. <sighs> can we like fall asleep for just a second too? Why can't we feel the love with Rhea? It feels like this is probably like another bug. I'm getting really frustrated by that. Okay, we have the option to feel the love finally, but Roxanne has passed out yet again. Oh, and Rhea is going to poo right next to us. Oh my gosh, ew. Rose, you can even hear like the flies and everything. Please don't leave us, Rhea. All right, we've got a treat interaction and a feeling the love interaction while JJ, the elder ghost dog here, licks up Rhea's puddle. <gasps> Aspiration achieved! Okay, wait, was that it? Aspiration complete. Roxanne has just completed their dream of sharing maximum quantities of love with their furry friends. Trait earned animal whisperer. It is easier for Roxanne to train, discipline, and gain relationships with all animals. Resolution complete. Roxanne completed their resolution and we got the castaway skill, the have a sim reach max level in fishing. Interesting how that just popped up right now. Okay. Well, wow, guys, it looks like we have done it. That's amazing. Oh, yes. So why don't we go ahead and go home and tell Bernice the good news. And then you guys, this series is, is pretty much over. Looks like these guys are just the cutest little family of all time. Just hanging out here. And here comes Roxanne, all exhausted, but probably so stinking happy. My gosh, you guys, this is so exciting. I cannot believe that. All right, well, our first aspiration challenge is complete. I think um, the one, oh, new family dynamic, supportive. Some older sims have a knack for providing reassurance and emotional support for their younger family members. The older sim can serve as a good role model. Yeah, Bernice and Terrence can have a supportive dynamic. Of course, that'd be amazing. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this 
part, this series, this episode right here. One last screenshot of these guys having a good time as a family. And um, if you guys have watched this part all the way to the end, feel free to go ahead and uh, watch all the rest of the parts. I will link the playlist for you for sure. Um, and if you guys have watched all of the parts of this little mini series, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate your guys' time. Um, and I will hopefully see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. <laughs>